Hello again, this is Priscilla Batsell in the front yard at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery and we're going to share the seven artworks that I'm putting in this month's drawing with you and there's the first one right now. These are 12 inch by 12 inches and they have some metallics in them and I'm sure my assistant will tip that forward and back to show you the artwork. I don't have the numbers so you're going to have to remember the order of them or what time you saw them if you're interested. I will be listing them on um, the community page for YouTube and also they'll be included on this video obviously duh on the end screens so that was the this is the third one there's the fourth one tip it forward tip it back just a little bit yeah okay but not too many metallics in that this is the fifth one that's got great I added dots <laughs> I love dots this is a really neat piece I like this piece a lot you can tip it forward and back please yeah, and that's got a lot of nice blue metallics in it too. And this is must be number six. That has a lot of tipability also with the uh, metallics, lots of shimmer in that. Yes, actually that was good. You could tip it so that it's back. Let's see, I'm look not looking through the monitor. Yes, now I can see it much better. Okay, last one. And I think most of these were videos but I'm not positive. You want to tip that back a little bit more? I'm not, I'm, it, the angle of the sun changes depending on what time of year it is. That's better. Okay, so we're going to have to have everything at a little bit of angle toward the sun. That shows the metallics really nice. And we have another painting on deck coming right up here. We're going to do my abstract expressionist 20 by 20 inches. These came right before, whoops, <laughs> time to zoom out and move up. My tripod is a little bit iffy right now but that's my first 20 by 20 and uh, that's called badass black anyway so here's our second 20 by 20 and that's um, something with dragons in the title and I can't remember it's probably back there and uh, here's a above and below you're gonna need to leave those up there for another for a bit longer than a second and that is the end of my abstract expression is 20 by 20. So there'll be some 24 by 24s in a minute. And we're going to grab another painting before we take that one away. And here is my first year's 20 by 20s. And some of them still have their price tags on them from one of my shows. And, um, it's okay if they're up there for a few seconds. That looks good. Now we're going to switch it. Yeah, that's the second one. Keep track of the time if you have any interest in purchasing one of these. I'm going to have to get my assistant to tip that toward the sun because I can't really see any of it. It's all dark. There we go. That's perfect. If you just remember to do that, would be good. Here's another one. This is one of my early swipes. This is a really joyous, riotous, colorful piece. I love this piece. It's okay. Let, let them fall. <laughs> go ahead. How about in... Yeah, there's... I think that might be my first painting I did, or at least my first 20 by 20. You're going to have to tip it toward the sun. Yeah, there you go. You can see all the metallics that way. That's that's good. And I'm going to let him write those paintings. <laughs> we're, we're never perfect at this, so you shouldn't expect us to be now either. Um, this is still a really early piece. My colors were... Well, that was unfortunate. Okay. <laughs> hey, look, it's still in one piece. It's tipped up on the other paintings, if you wouldn't mind putting it down. Thank you. And tipping it toward the sun, too. Uh, there you go. And it's got a gloss, a, sh a high gloss coat on it. This is way back when I did, um, I still had glue in my mix. And I hadn't started using GAC 800, but I guess I was lucky and this one didn't crack. You can replace that with another one if you want to. I love this next piece. Those are getting ready to go over again. You're gonna, there, we tipped it toward the sun, which is good, because you can see it's got a high gloss finish on it. It's also got lots of crazing, which is really cool and very interesting in this. And the crazing came from using the Elmer's glue all, which is not a good thing, in my opinion, to put into your acrylic paint pouring mixes. And um, we're going to go for something absolutely gorgeous. I guess I got really lucky early on, and I love the cells in this, and I love the colors. And I may even have already started to use the GAC 800, and the breeze didn't catch the painting, and it's tipped toward the sun, and you're doing an awesome job, honey. Thank you so much. This was a really early piece. I mean, we're in the hundreds as opposed to the thousands as far as file numbers go. And if you're keeping track of the time and you like something, just let me know and I will, uh... <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna go help him for a second. He's gonna switch a painting right now. 
and all of these are going to go back because they were supposed to be leaning. All right. So we're, I love this red one. This has got awesome cells in it and not too much crazing um, in spite of the glue. And a lot of these are on um, gallery wrap canvases, but I don't believe that is one of them. Anyway, like I said, they're 20 by 20s. This is, this is something that's usually in my gallery. I love this piece. I love those big cells. Yes, I did use silicone, and uh, there probably was silicone in most of these early pieces. I don't use silicone anymore because I don't like cleaning it off to finish it, but um, we're going to keep moving on. That has a really high gloss finish, and it's also up on the other stack of paintings, so you might want to put it down and tip it toward the sun a little bit. Yeah, much better. Thank you. And uh, we're almost ready for the next one. This I love. This, if I never sell this, that would be okay with me. Uh-oh. Never mind. <laughs> we may have part one and part two. Can you tip this a little bit back toward the sun? The other opposite direction because it's yes there we go thank you um you let me know if we need to stop for a minute and make some adjustments <laughs> okay let's keep going that was my one of my favorites and um and that's a good position because we can see that it has lots of shimmer and if you pull it back slowly toward us that left hand and you can see that the the top left hand corner is black um, it's kind of catching the light, so it doesn't really show up. There we go. Much better. You want to grab another painting? Okay. I tried to get him to, to make sure that we didn't have any uh, anything. You could leave that there for a minute. Whoa, yeah. You can hang on to that and leave it there for a minute. I'm going to go behind you and move some artwork. So, And we're going to be moving along to another painting. But that was a good one. You can tip that toward the sun a little bit. Um, perfect. That's a gorgeous painting. Beautiful cells. Okay. And uh, this, this has really intense patterns in it. So we're going to be tipping that and moving it. And I think I have a high gloss finish on it. And there's probably a variety of lumps and bumps in here because it was still really early. Um, I'm going to help him again. And we're going to keep going. Um, that had a lot of grays and purples and stuff. This is a really nice piece. This is, I'm pretty sure I wasn't using, I, I'm pretty sure I wasn't using glue anymore at this point in time, but I probably was still using silicone, so, uh, cotton candy party. <laughs> this is another one I hang in the gallery quite frequently. This was the beginning of my, uh, using negative space series. And, uh, we're gonna change over, because we got lots more to go. This is fabulous. This has terrific energy, and I love this. And, uh. I don't know what to say about that. We're gonna. This is one of my art resin pieces that still has another layer necessary to go, because um, there's a few divots. Anytime you get human skin oil in between things and you don't get it all cleaned off, you're likely as likely as you are to have a temperature problem or a bubble with art resin. Um, great stuff as long as you know what you're doing and I'm not sure I was an expert at this point so this is a fabulous piece if I never sell it I'm okay with it but I will be giving it another coat of resin soon and uh, the re art resin finished ones are uh, more expensive all the time because there's two or three days extra labor on that so looks like my assistant's gonna need a break in a second and uh, this has got some metallics and if you move it toward the Sun we'll be able to see them there that was perfect honey Appreciate that. And uh, there's two more paintings behind you. And then that stack. Yes, and the first one is a metallic, which is going to love to have some sun on it. So, yes, perfect. And you could stand that up straight and tip it even more toward the. Yes, perfect. Check you out. You're doing great. All things considered, we're making progress. The last one of the 20 by 20s, I think. I'm not positive. Well, no, it's the last one of this series before this year. Um, anyway, <laughs> the last one in that stack. And we're going to show you more recent artworks that are in the 20 by 20 pile that I don't think I showed you before. They're right here. And this one is one of my favorites and a lot of people's favorites. Uh, it's a very folk art sun. And uh, we'll just keep moving because we'll run out of time eventually. That has some great metallics in it. And as soon as we can, we're going to tip it toward the sun. Yeah, that's awesome. 
And uh, this next one has over 30,000. It might have actually over 60,000 views. Ouch. And I just found a sand spur with my... All right. Well, I'm kind of thinking we better do a part two. So there'll be, tw there'll be some nice 24 by 24s coming up after this, and we'll finish this in a minute. All right, so we're going to move on. I love this, and that's definitely going to need some attention. Tip toward the sun somewhat to see the full metallics and the, the depth in there. That's awesome. Thank you. This is a really simple piece, black and white. I like black and white. It does look like I gave it a bit of a... Uh, a finished coat, but I'm surprised. I think it's just the black. Okay, so there's my grass. I love painting grass. What can I say? I love the, the different shades of greens and purples and turquoises in there. Really simple piece. There's my waves. Love them too. People have bought shower curtains with those on them and they look fantastic. This is the last piece and this will need some tipping toward the sun because this is the most fabulous color shift blue piece ever. So all we're going to do at this point, instead of the 24 by 24s, is finish up by showing the, uh, the seven choices for prizes again, which are right there underneath. And um, we're going to go one by one and give him a, a break because his back is killing him, I can tell. So there's one of the prizes. Let me adjust again. And then cut him a break. <laughs> Because I can. Because I can. The name of my book on the Amazon link below the video. Okay, and the next prize choice will be, I call these stars, and you might want to tip them. Never mind, it's tough. Uh, <laughs> there's a good strong breeze out here right now. <laughs> there's our third one. And another one. And I'm not sure if they're all tipped in the right direction, but that kind of looks like a monster with a big yellow eye to me right now. <laughs> Nobody's ever going to want that. But it's cool. All right, that's got some metallics in it. We showed these at the beginning. We're just showing them again. These are going to, whoever decides to contribute it currently to PayPal or Patreon through the links on my YouTube channel header or the links below the video in the description will be included in a contest. And if your name is drawn, you will have a one in however many contributors there are in the contest. And last month there were 27. So the woman who won had a one in 27 chance of winning. There's no minimum requirement, although I wouldn't suggest less than $5 if you wanted to be nice. But um, I could use the contributions uh, very much. You guys help keep the studio rolling, and you keep me in paint and canvases, and you keep me making videos, and I so appreciate that. So just know you're a huge help by giving me a thumbs up for every video that you love and watching as many minutes as you can possibly watch in every video. And then there's my Amazon link that you can shop. It's below the video where the gold mica powder and the OXO omelet turning spatulas and the Princeton Artel catalyst spatulas and a whole bunch of other cool stuff that I love, I have put there for you to see if you want to. Not to mention that there's an ebook and a paperback version of Because I Can, that's the name of my book. So I love you guys very much, and I'm going to let my husband have a break now, and uh, <laughs> we're going to probably come back soon and do one more video after he feels a little bit better, because I have a small selection of 24 by 24 inch paintings coming right up. This is Priscilla Batzel with an assistant in <laughs> Spring Hill, Florida, at Expression to Start Studio Gallery in the front yard, going, I love you guys, come again. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.